Okay guys, in this video I'm gonna show you a few tests. This is a 0.7 Tesla magnetic pulsar PEMF with three and a half inch coil and we're gonna do some tests. We'll have, I have some aluminum here, foils, which is folded um, like 64 sheets. We're gonna do some bend tests and then I have one kilo, one pound, uh, 250 gram, 100 gram and some other ways. So we're gonna do some repel tests from this coil. And then we're gonna test to see if we can get some spark from this chain if I place it on the top of the coil. And then we're gonna measure the signal from, catch the signal which is coming out from the coil onto this uh, coil here and watch it on a oscilloscope so we can see um, which magnetic field, how long of a magnetic field this coil outputs. Also we're gonna do tests on how far the magnetic field travels and if we can get the LED to pulsate and um, yeah so stay tuned let's uh, get this test going. First test is going to be the distance test. So I have my tape measure here and I have a pickup coil set against um, the coil of the magnetic pulsar which is this one here. I'm gonna energize it and we'll look at the um, LED to see if we can get magnetic field to travel and how far can it travel so let's start with six inches here let me see if i can block my light let's energize the unit okay six inches works just fine let's put it to 10 inches blink so fast that camera is not catching it but trust me it's blinking and let's do 12 inches which is one foot away from the coil and we're still receiving the signal so 12 inches away from the coil I am able to catch magnetic field which travels that far so anything you put in front of it it will go magnetic field will go through it and as we can see the LED still lights up yeah, the camera is not catching it but trust me it's lighting up okay so that's test number one let me prep for another one with the second test I will do a repel and a bend test. Actually, I'm just gonna do a bend test. So this is pretty thick. I don't think I can bend this. This is for stronger pulsers. But this one, this one is uh, 20 gram, 64 sheets of aluminum, heavy duty aluminum, um, kitchen foil. So I'm gonna place it on the coil and we'll hold it with a screwdriver just like this and uh, let me try to energize it somehow I only have two hands okay let's energize it okay Let's take a look at it. Here we go. Magnetic field bent in this 64 sheets of aluminum. Um, let's go ahead and do some repel test. So for that, I'm going to step back a little bit. One, two, three. Okay, yeah, it flew maybe 
it hit the ceiling so I don't know how far but I landed back here let's try to do this one it's probably gonna do the same thing oh, no this one didn't hit the ceiling it flew maybe two and a half three feet up in the air so that's there let's uh, go ahead and try something more heavy so this one is one kilogram of aluminum and let's give it a test let's see how far it's gonna not very far I'd say maybe um, three eighth of an inch something like that okay so that was one kilogram which is like two elbe this is one elbe around half of that so let's try one elbe okay this one's farther I'd say like an inch it's able to push it by away about an inch so let's try 250 gram which is quarter kilogram okay I'd say about three inches so this one was about three inches Let's try 100 gram aluminum. Step back a little bit. Okay, so this one, I'd say about foot, around foot away. That's how far you can push it away. Um, I have this ring. This is 22 gram aluminum ring. Let's give it a test. Okay. It's stuck on the ceiling. Alright, let me get it. So it flew up in the um in the ceiling and got stuck in there so I had to remove it so I'd say probably like six feet it was able to push it up um, yeah I'm not gonna try that one let's try try a quarter there is just a simple quarter 25 cents yeah it depends on the metal some metals are not as reactive to the magnetic field so it pushes it maybe um inch and a half two inches the most okay so that was a repel test after this i'd like to show you uh we'll keep that one to the last so this is the fun one i like that one um let's give it a test and see how this magnetic field looks like on a oscilloscope when it comes out this is a pickup coil we're gonna pick the magnetic field from here and look at it on a scope so i'll turn it down because we're not looking how intense the field we're looking on its characteristics how long of a field so let's energize it gonna bring the coil to here and as I move the coil back just watch the oscilloscope and the signal increases as I bring the coil closer and as I bring it back so let's take a look on the scope uh, we're here at 50 microseconds per uh, square and it looks like we're receiving intense field in the beginning and then it decays down to 
zero within uh, 50 microseconds, maybe 55, something like that. So yeah, the the length of the signal doesn't change, it's just the intensity, they bring it up and farther and closer. That's the magnetic field from this. And let's give it a last test. Let's see if we can get this thing to um, spark if I place this um, chain. It's a copper chain, which I made. I soldered, um, connected it all. So let's place it on the coil and see what we get. I'm gonna flip the coil to the north side. That's where it outputs the strongest magnetic field. And I gotta have two hands. So let me try to set it up. Okay, let's see if I can do that. Let's energize it. Hopefully you can see sparks which are coming out from this chain. With each pulse. doesn't get doesn't shock me it's just okay hopefully you can see that this is the marks which left after sparkling So this is a 0.7 Tesla uh, PMF with adjustment down to 0.3 Tesla and I was playing myself and I was able to get get it to spark even on 0.3 Tesla. It sparks a little bit but not as much as on higher intensity. Um, yeah, you can get more information about this model down below this video. I'll post a link uh, to my website. So yeah, this is the slowest one. And I have one which pulsates on highest um, almost four times a second and 3.75 Hertz. And on lowest, it pulsates 17 times. This one on lowest pulsates like four times and on highest pulsates like once a second. So, but the benefit of this one, this one you can use for hours and it will not overheat. This applicator is designed to focus magnetic field into like a cone shape. So it has a good deep penetration. It focus magnetic field like a beam. That's why I'm able to um, catch magnetic field 12 inches away from the coil and still lit up the LED. It's actually travels farther away than that. Okay guys, if you like the video, uh, give me a thumbs up please. That helps the channel. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.